Why, hello there, lovely citizens of the Shaft! I am Naked Zombo, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Trudon of the Ocean, the Electro Forest. Now, I call it the Trudon of the Ocean because they just made the ocean a lot more dangerous than it already is. The ocean is getting more and more dangerous with all these creatures they are releasing, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing because the ocean does need a bit more attention. I remember the early days of Ark when there really wasn't much of an incentive to go into the ocean. The only things there were were pearls, megalodons, and annoying dolphins that tried to gang rape you for food. Now, it's not just the dolphins trying to rape you, it's 95% of all living things in the ocean trying to get a piece of your sweet ass. If this keeps up, they're gonna have to add some kind of chastity belt or something. Come on, Ark, I'm tired of getting raped in the ocean! If you're going in the ocean nowadays, you should really prepare yourself with some armor, preferably riot armor, flak armor works too, a crossbow, some backup tames, high movement speed, high fortitude, and some stimulant because chances are you're gonna come across a jelly or an eel that's gonna electrocute your ass. And if you're alone and unprepared, all you can do is watch while your character has an underwater seizure and dies and you lose all your shit. Not fun. Just like the Trudon, these things are annoying as hell. Their aggro radius is huge, they can see you from a mile away, and their attack radius is also pretty overpowered. And if you only have 100% movement speed, you better step it up because they can swim just a tad bit faster than you if you have 100% movement speed with flippers on. Do not let a wild eel get too close to you because once they get close enough, they'll give you a nice little shock for 7 seconds that will totally disable you and deal torpor damage. After they've had their way with you and released all their electrical energy into your body, they will run away for a few seconds to recharge and come back for round 2. If you survive the initial electrocution, then your time to strike is when they are headed straight back at you. Just keep putting arrows right in the center of that beautiful face. So we know that the wild eel is pretty overpowered and you're probably wondering how you get a few of these for yourself. Well, it's actually not too difficult. All you have to do is build a nice little contraption like this, lure the eel into the trap. Once he's trapped, block him off with some walls and feed them their favorite snack, biotoxin. Just don't eat the biotoxin unless you're looking for a quick way out. You can also use the squid to hold down the tickle fish while you stuff biotoxin down its throat. But keep in mind, the eel will keep attacking the squid, so you may want to bump up the squid's health if you decide to do it this way. It only took 4 biotoxin to tame a level 1 tickle fish, but if I were you, I wouldn't just stop at 1. I would tame a bunch of these, because just like the Trudon or the Compies, they have that nice little pack bonus effect. When your pack of eels are attacking the same target, it looks like their electricity effect chains together to create for a stronger attack altogether. Tamed eels definitely do not do that much damage at all. If anything, they should be used to deal torpor or to stun enemies. The dossier says that they can be used to knock out other dinos for taming, but I spawned in like 20 eels to knock out a level 35 Plesio, and the Plesio just wrecked them all. And I wouldn't just use a pack of eels as your main damage dealer, because they're not very, uh, they don't have that much strength. I think they are best used to be more of a background annoyance support unit. Have a Mosasaur or a Plesio as your main attack unit, and the eels to help as backup. And sometimes the eels even glitch into your victim's body, holds them down so they can't move at all. I tested how the eel would affect an enemy raft, and it didn't affect the driver of the raft at all, but it did affect the passengers of the raft. And if you're wondering what you get out of harvesting them, you don't get any biotoxin, all you get is raw fish meat. So what do you citizens think of the Electro Forest? Do you think the Electro Forest is actually overpowered, or is that just clickbait? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to check out our other videos. I am absolutely sure you'll find something you like, you'll join us, and become a loyal citizen of the Shaft. I am Naked Zombo, and I will see you in the next video.